everybody tonight's video will be a mitten and scarf on the go first we cast on the machine by going on in <laughs> one in the front one in the back for the first row oh and then you crank i start with waist yarn why i start with waist yarn is because it's gonna be easier to close the tube at the end with that so i put the yarn in the middle and then i will go with my project yarn make sure everything is in the right place and i will start by making my thumbs there so i will do 14 rows 14 rows please note that in your notebook because <laughs> every time somebody said how many rows <laughs> it's on the screen so keep that in mind put that in your notebook so i did 14 i re i cut it come back with waist yarn and then i crank till i ran out of yarn because it's only a little bit of yarn that i use already so i keep it for waist yarn so it's done so you will need two like this so two times this action so now it's time to close the tube so you will see how come the waist yarn is very handy so it's very important to use waist yarn that is not the same color of your project yarn so that way you go and grab one stitch at a time to close your tube i use a hook number four but you could go till number five and you'll be comfortable with so i get all the stitches make sure you get all of them because you you will have some uh, drop stitch and sometimes it's a little tricky to fix it and sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's better to just start over to keep your smile in your face your face <laughs> so almost finished i grab all the stitches that i see Till I get to that tail of yarn that tail is always handy to close so that's why I always start the opposite way where is my uh, tail of yarn now I will just remove the little knot and remove the first row of yarn both sides are very different so the starting point and the ending point from the machine is sometimes is it's the easiest and the hardest time to remove the waist yarn. So this yarn is removed. I check if I didn't lose any stitches. Make sure my knot is very tight. Everything look okay. So we'll do the same thing the other, the other side. So you notice that I go very, very fast, but it's only to show you that I did it. <laughs> Cause once in another video I said, do both the same way and i didn't show it in the video and people was like what did you do with the other side <laughs> i close it i say it in the video <laughs> so now i will show it <laughs> to be more clear so remove the waist yarn and you got two thumbs so times to close it i will use the mattress stitch make sure that your column of yarn is the same place make sure you grab every two stitch like this you go in the middle of your V, the V is the stitch, and you grab two bar in the middle. I don't go tight right now because I will pull on it at the end and it, it's like magic. Will be very, very nice. So I continue like that. And I will do the two thumbs like that too. Long. There. pull 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 it's like magic you can't see it after so you continue on the same column oops lose it i like those the those needle very handy there pull a little bit and i will attach it Oh, I lost a half a drop stitch there. Fix it with the hook. Grab it again. 
there and now I have to get a little piece of yarn to close it there double knot like this so it's closed and I will hide those little tail of yarn now so I will close there I'll go, just go and grab one stitch at the, at the time like this I go around it and then I will pull on it to close the two for the thumbs and I will do the same thing for the other thumbs too there time to pull there and I will attach those two tail together to secure it like this and hide it between the two layer there so time to close it correctly both sides like this another double knot hide those tail there another one and voila the thumbs is ready so I got two <laughs> thumbs fight <laughs> there so now it's time to cast on the scarf part so I cast on with waist yarn one in the front one in the back for the first row and then I will crank I think I will do like five rows there you go with what you're comfortable with if you're comfortable with five or ten it's up to you so I come to my project yarn put that in front of the black another black the white needle hold it and then I will crank so for the scarf part so I did the two thumbs first because I decide to try something very <laughs> very funny because my row counter counter doesn't work and I, I put another one doesn't last long so now I, I try <laughs> I'd like to find a uh, easiest way to do a project with my Adipro but without the count so I use a full ball of yarn I will give you the description of the the yarn in the <laughs> during the at the end of the video I will give you the description of the yarn so with the same yarn or yard <laughs> yard oh not the yard but the measuring you of the ball maybe you could do that if you don't have the exact same as me time to remove so I did the full ball I remove it with waist yarn time to stretch 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 there so time to do the closing put the tail on one side and grab the other side and I will do like exactly what I did with the thumbs when I close it so I go and grab one stitch every side so like this and I will do the same thing for the other part of this scarf so this a scarf could fit for a kids or an adult and it's fun to make and you always have your mitten with you so no more oh I lost one can't one you can't lost one this this time you can't so I grab all the stitches the tail if it was stuck there close it time to remove the waist yarn so I will remove it 
find the little start how it smash it not smash but <laughs> I decided to do it like this this time because the yellow yarn that I use is a yarn that is always split so that's why I use it for waist yarn so for uh, four or five rows it's good and after that it's start uh, giving me trouble so that's why I use it for waist yarn so I will put my scarf straight on the table make sure it's not twisted make sure it's straight like this and then I will go and oh a little bit crook there it's a very long scarf right now but when we will do the other part we'll go a little bit faster for this one and if you still here can you in the comment put a happy face a smiley just a, an emoticon just to tell me that you reach 11 minutes it will give me a, an idea if it's the video is too long or too short I don't I don't know so I will keep going like this there remove it and grab all the stitches till I get to the end and remove the waist yarn what a waist yarn is removed time to put that together make sure it's straight because I will sew it but I I need to sew it on the same column of uh, like this if not it's, it's not gonna be nice at the end so do your your best to sew it following the same column of project so we will create our mitten now Continue I'll do a little test to see if my uh, my thumbs is at the right place so it's at least 14 rows that I sew together that's why I put 14 on the screen so note that in your notebook 14 so I pull on the yarn and then I will do like a little knot there to keep it everything secure and then I come with the thumbs I will go and grab one full stitch on it and go in the middle of the like I did like mattress stitch but I will grab one there and one on the mitten I don't remember how to call that but it's a uh, two different way to it's put it there and grab two stitch there two <laughs> I have to listen to myself and then I grab a full stitch there Two stitch on the mitten, one stitch on the thumbs till I get in the middle of the thumbs sewing there, pull, look to be the middle, and I will come back, pull it, pull it on a little bit. I come back on my work inside and I will go and grab one full stitch and like I did the other side go in the middle I grab one full stitch go in the middle grab two 
one full stitch and grab two keep the same column very important there grab two full stitch grab two was a very fun uh, project to make it's gonna be for my little one because right now she have her hands are the same size as mine but I have very small hands so <laughs> so she's proud of it so I prepared that for her Christmas gift she's always losing one mitten so now she won't it's only it's always when we are ready to go somewhere that we are looking for some mittens so this scarf mitten will be only when we go out <laughs> not to play outside but when we go out so we will be <laughs> better with that one so I continue like this keep the same little pull on it come back on the other side take your time because it could be confusing at the end because it's it's a different shape you got the be careful so pull on it there and I will do a double knot so all the video was done on with one machine only usually when I do my mitten I was having two machine this one is one machine only so I cut it and now I will sew so that's perfect for my thumbs I will sew the other side the same way Maybe you could see better. There, you grab two each side. Like this. There. So there's not a lot of number to remember for this one. Only thing you need to remember is the thumbs and that you use a full ball of yarn. So pull on it. There. Be careful not losing your yarn because it's not attached on the other side. You just attach it at the end. So almost finished. Keep going and if you're here can you put two smiley face in the comment at 18 minute almost 19 pull 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 perfect time to push it cut it and almost finish and voila it's done time to do the other one now make sure you put those two uh, on the same side make sure you put your your thumbs on the right side almost did the mistake when I sew it so be careful so it there Put it a little bit faster. Almost finished this side. A little bit closer.
beautiful. And voila, it's magic. Do a double knot. And put it in the middle of the project like this. Touch it. I did. I did the one. Cut it. And time to do the thumbs. Same thing, you have to be careful and make sure that it's straight. And you do the mattress stitch again. I count my rows. Because I remember I did 14 on the other side. So I would do the same thing to have the thumbs the same height. So the thumbs here, I will attach the thumbs. We'll do the same thing. Wrap one stitch and then attach it on the mitten. So I wrap there and a full stitch. Wrap two and a full stitch. I know I did a mistake on the first, I just grabbed one, but it doesn't matter, it will be okay at the end, so don't worry for that. So I continue, I grab two on the mitten, two stitch, and then grab one full stitch on the thumbs. I'm very happy with the ending of this video, because uh, it was my first try. <laughs> Sometimes when I do something I tried before, but I decide to do the video come like right away. <laughs> so going back to the starting point of the thumbs and then grab one stitch and go on the mitten for two stitch. So I do the same thing. And I continue. Oh, sometimes it's hard to find. Especially when I have the big light in the face. <laughs> oh, no, no. So, grab two. And grab a full stitch here. Almost finished with the thumbs. There. I'm not sure where you all from, but here in Canada, it's very, very cold today. Yesterday was a, a frozen rain. I'm not sure if you say that in English, frozen rain. I'm not sure. In French, it's pluie vert glaçant. <laughs> so, I continue. And grab one stitch, not one stitch, two stitch on each side till I get to the end of this mitten. Oops. There, almost finished. We did it, we did it, <laughs> we did it together. There. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. <laughs> Could be nice. More subscriber, more people to, to teach, more happy people. And share the video with your friend. It will help my uh, channel to grow. Especially if it's people that like working with yarn. Don't, don't share that with people who doesn't like yarn. Share that with people that have shared the same passion as, as we are here. So I wish you a great day. Hope all you keep yourselves safe and your family too. So 
I see you next week for a new video. Ciao, ciao. Sorry, almost forgot. It's red art. Roll it with tweed. So I share it. So you have the measurement of the the yarn that I use, and it's a size four. So have a great day. Ciao, ciao.